Hi y'all, it's Anna Zeka here again with yet another mini album and this time I decided to make another version of my usual 6x6 six six and 2 inches wide albums this one's 4x6 and I used the October Afternoon Midway collection gorgeous colours, so much fun to work with and loads of other pretties which I will name as we go along so let's start with this one, as I said, Midway Pattern paper from October afternoon. Such fun papers. And I the front is covered with uh, this beautiful diamond shaped pattern paper. And then I put the uh, this fun confetti kind of paper at the uh, spine. And I have this beautiful flower from Prima. Buttons from OA, leaves, pearls from Kaiser Craft. This, this is from October afternoon as well. And then some washi tape here, pink and blue with hearts. Really cute. And these are held together with this sheer ribbon. Pretty one. And then the backing. I just cut this out from one of the patterns. Oh, and I used an 8x8 eight eight times eight size papers. So I cut this out. There was a cute little embellishment on the back. So let's open this up. So get the first one I made kind of like a pocket in the photo mat using a brad from the same collection. And I cover this with Kaiser Craft Pearls just to give it a bit more dimension. Then we have this side, it's a tiny, tiny bag with a small tag for you to write on and to decorate this with a button, pearl and die cut from that same collection. And this page I decorated using a doily from Studio Calico and some pearls. This is from the collection as well and oh, I love these flares. Just had to add this one. It's orange, so it fitted the theme, which is great. And then I had this tag from Ranger, which I just inked, put some washi tape on the back, and glued this down. And I left this so that you can tuck a photo of someone behind if you want. So it's not glued at the top, so you can add a photo if you want to do the whole carnival theme, which I think is a cute idea. There are another pocket where you get a see-through envelope with some inserts, writing, photographs, memorabilia, and they're all decorated for things from the collection. And another pocket here using this one. Great journaling photos. Decorate these with buttons and the same washi tape throughout. Then we have this page. It's kind of left like you could add a photo, so you can tuck it into here. Funny games, you can name something that you like, put a photo underneath the date. That's a cute idea. And another page for the doily and some stuff from the collection, some die cuts. Really like these tickets, really cute. And then I found this one in the one of the embellishments packs. I thought it was really cute on its own and it's blank on the back so it's great for journaling or photos or whatnot. And I just added a brad so it would be easier to take out. And then this cute ice cold cute dude, whatever you call him. And I made that into a pocket as well so you have these photo mats and yet another brad and then another bag with some photo mats journalings and decorate these with buttons from the same collection big twine washi tape and then I thought this page would be great for photos because I found this one in the uh, in the uh, brad collection 
photos, so I decided to leave it blank so you get uh, lots of photos, small ones, wallet sized, or Instagram pics, or whatever. And then another one, doily backed background with the same die cuts. And here's a pocket with a tag, same as before, washi tape at the bottom. And this one, and this one's also loose, so you could add slip a photo behind. And then the last page, which I made a little pocket that you could put photos behind or anything you want to do. I want to and I decided to put the brad in the middle of the button. It really just fit perfect for this paper. So this is kind of a new take on my regular kind of albums, I guess. It was really fun to make, so it would be great for kids, because this collection is about all about carnival and stuff, so... It was really fun to make. Thanks for stopping by! Bye!